Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today we're talking about the Easy Rig Mini Max. So, let's get into it. So even though cameras are getting smaller, obviously the need for larger digital cinema cameras are still out there. They are still one of the best cameras out there, and obviously some of the best cameras out there on the market, although they're smaller than they used to be, they're still pretty big. Now production has really moved towards run and gun style shooting. So one of the things that filmmakers wanna do is obviously have a big camera that's a true cinema camera rigged out to what they need, but also have the ability to be able to use that quickly, move fast, and obviously not physically hurt yourself over time. Now if you don't have guns like these, so basically the Easy Rig is a series of support for cameras. Now they have a couple different versions, but today I'm going to be talking about the Easy Rig Mini Max. This is the cheapest and the smallest version. So this thing is weird looking. It looks like a Ghostbusters Proton Pack, and most people will give you looks when you're wearing it, but it is super, super useful. So the Easy Rig Mini Max is actually kind of set up like a backpack. You put it on, you strap it, you buckle it in, and then you tighten all those buckles. Again, just like a backpack would be, more like a hiking backpack. And then up over top is actually an arm that has a cable to it. And in my case, I actually swapped it out with a quick release, so I really highly recommend doing that, and I'll talk about that later. But basically, this connects to your camera, and this makes the camera borderline weightless. So it's obviously like a counterweight, so of course the camera seems to be suspended and can move up and down. You can also let go, and it gives it that sort of feeling of that's free floating. The main thing is it's putting all the weight on your hips, not your back, and not your arms. So when it comes to long shooting days when you have a larger rig and the camera's out in front of you and you want to go handheld and get that cool handheld look, but you obviously don't want to physically be holding all of that weight in front of you and putting a strain on your back, that's where something like the Easy Rig is a massive, massive, massive upgrade. And the problem is, is that most of the Easy Rigs are super expensive. They're like four or five grand. Now, obviously, if you're in a large production, that makes total sense. But the Mini Max is a $1,200 option that can hold up to 15 pounds. Now, I will say in my case, 15 pounds has been more than enough for the Ursa Mini Pro G2 with its success. Accessories. I've also used the GH5 on it, stuff like that, kitted out. So really for most mainstream cameras and smaller, I would say the Easy Rig Mini Max is probably fine. You could even probably get away with like an Alexa Mini or something like that. I mean, I'm not really sure about red cameras. I'm not really sure exactly which ones, but I guarantee you get away with probably most of them, especially if they have a smaller kit. So I was really happy with the 15 pound weight limit. I, again, I haven't had any issues with that. The camera seems weightless. I can easily just move it up and down. It stays in its position. So the cable actually locks when you move it up or down. That way, if you want to hold it in a certain spot, you can, but then of course you can let go and be hands-free. Now I wouldn't be hands-free all the time because it is a little creepy and I still don't totally trust it, but again, it's just something nice where it doesn't have to fully be on your hands the entire time. Now this thing does come with a bag. It's nice, it fits in the bag. It folds down really easily. The arm just folds down, it pops back up. It's good to go. When you don't actually have a camera on it and you're moving around, the head sort of swings around. It can crack into stuff. So just be careful when you are doing that. But again, it's not a huge deal. It just folds right back and you know it's easy to transport. Overall, the Easy Rig Mini Max is actually very comfortable. I will say for long days I've used this and although it does get a little bit taxing just in general, the weight on your hips, it is way, way easier than actually hand holding the camera with your hands the entire time. Again, it's so much strain on your upper back or your middle back and then also your arms where this just really kind of distributes the weight evenly. So something about the Easy Rig in general that I think I really want to touch on is this is not a camera stabilizer. I think a lot of people think that an Easy Rig is going to stabilize the footage and that is not true at all. These do not stabilize footage. Actually, if anything, they make it a little more difficult to get handheld footage. Reason being is when you actually have the camera on there and you walk, the cable is you know, actually taut, so it's pulling on the camera. So when you're walking, you get this kind of bounce to it. Now, I'm not saying you can't get away with it or you can't avoid that, or if you're shooting like slow motion, it's totally fine. But just understand that this is not a stabilizer. This is not trying to be a gimbal or something else at all. This is a completely different thing. This is a support system. It is for handheld camera work for moving the weight off of your arms and back onto your hips. So that's really all it is. Again, it's just ease of use. So there's a couple of modifications you can make to the Easy Rig. This is for any of them, but of course the Mini Max as well. One of the first things I did was actually use a quick release system. So the quick release system is kind of difficult to actually put on. You have to like redo the string and it's a little weird, but once you get it, it's really easy. And the great part about that is, is basically you have a little tiny kind of like ball bearing looking thing that you stick on your actual camera uh, somewhere on a cage or on the top. And then all you have to do is just drop it down. It clicks right on and then boom, there you go. You're good to go. The camera is locked in. And then when you're ready to take it off, you just pull up on the actual quick release and the camera comes right out and then boom, you're right back to being either on handheld or sticks or whatever you want to do with it. So I think this is actually super handy because the original uh, clamp on there is really obnoxious and it's very annoying and it like, it would be way too hard to take it on and off all the time. 
So I highly recommend if you're buying an easy rig in general to definitely buy the quick release plate. Now one of the other things that I don't have but I've heard very good things about is a serene arm. So basically the serene arm is kind of a spring that sort of helps get rid of that motion, that up and down motion on the easy rig. Now again, it's not stabilizing your footage, but it's going to help take away any extra little weird bumps and movements that the Easy Rig is causing. Now, I know the Serene Arm is fairly expensive, so I wouldn't say that it's maybe 100% worth it, especially because depending on just your workflow or what you're doing with it. But again, if it's something you're worried about and it's something that you have noticed, the Serene Arm is available and it does work on the Mini Max from everything that I've heard so. So yeah, overall, I've been super happy with the Easy Rig Mini Max. Again, it's very easy to set up, it's easy to travel with, it snaps on very quickly, it holds holds the weight perfectly, and honestly, it's just been a really great investment for me. And of course, being $1,200, it is so much cheaper than the other ones. And again, if you don't have a huge camera rig, I would say that the Mini Max is really great for most camera systems. I would still weigh your camera, weigh your rig, check out your settings, and make sure that it's going to actually work. But again, I would say for most smaller cinema cameras, this thing is more than fine. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.